Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to fix a Redmi Note 8 that's stuck on the fastboot screen. Some users reported that their device rebooted and got stuck on the fastboot screen. The thing about this problem is that it makes the phone unresponsive. If you're one of the users that's bugged by this issue, here's what you need to do. First solution, press and hold the power key for at least 12 seconds. When the Redmi device gets stuck on the fastboot screen the first reaction will be to power it down. So you press the power key for a few seconds but it won't respond. The thing is you need to press and hold the power key for at least 12 seconds. As you can see it takes about 12 seconds before the screen turns off and around 14 seconds before the Redmi text shows. That's a sign that the phone will now boot up normally. Most of the similar cases I've encountered have been fixed by this very simple procedure. So if you experience a similar issue, hold the power key long enough to trigger the phone to reboot. However, if your device is still not responding after holding the power key for 12 seconds or more, then you should try the next solution. Second solution, force restart your Redmi Note 8. If for some reason your phone is still stuck on the fastboot screen even after doing the first solution, then it's time you do the force restart for the simulated battery removal. Press the volume up, volume down and power keys at the same time and hold them together for 12 seconds. This will trigger the phone to power down and turn back up. When the Redmi text shows, release the keys and wait for your phone to finish the reboot. As long as this is just a minor problem with the firmware, these two solutions are enough to make the device reboot to normal mode. However, should your Redmi Note 8 remain stuck on fastboot screen even after doing these solutions, then you should consider bringing it to the tech. It is possible that the power key is stuck or no longer works, but as far as troubleshooting is concerned that's all you need to do to try and make the device work again. I hope that we've been able to help one way or the other please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos. Thanks for watching.